Hey, 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 Dream Life Creators! Good evening, good day, depends where you are. I hope that you are here with me. Come and say hello. I am seeing your com uh, comments and if you have any questions, of course, ask and I will try to answer them during the presentation and afterwards we ha always have a Q&A section where you can, you can share more uh, more questions or insight about the topic that we are covering today. And as I said, we are talking today about branding yourself because I think it's such an important topic in today's world where we all are uh, building our businesses, we are all going on to the, uh, being our own bosses and on the entrepreneurial journey. So uh, let me share with you why it's so important and how you can brand yourself and how you can uh, benefit from branding yourself online uh, opposed to being a rep for, for some company or uh, married to a company. Uh, let me just switch to the, switch to the presentation. Give me a second. Uh, come, as I said, come and say hello. Hi, who's here with me? Hi, Mira. Hi, Tanya. I'm glad to see you. And I really hope that you will, you, you will get a value out of it. Uh, okay, let me switch to presentation and we can start. And as I said, you can always ask questions and share your insights about the topic. And I see your comments so uh, we can have more uh, communication, not just me talking about the, this. Okay. Hey, hey, Heather. So why it is important that you stand out? Imagine today online world is full of uh, reps and full of the other people that are representing the same company. And if you know, it, it doesn't, today I will be mostly talking about the network marketing companies and not network, uh, stepping out and being visible for network marketers, but you can also uh, transfer this into any, any other industry, any other business, because if you're a coach, if you are uh, in a, brick and mortar business, you still have to stand out. You still have to be uh, someone that people will remember and know and like and trust and not just uh, one of many. Uh, so <clears throat> when you join your company or your business, you are with the same company. I'm sure that you know your numbers, how many other reps are doing the same with the same products, with the same offers, you know, when the company rolls out an offer or a special deals or whatever, everyone is shouting on uh, Facebook or on Instagram, we have this deal, exciting news. Oh my God, I can't believe this. And everyone is just doing the same. And of course, the same special deals and the same website. When you start, uh, nowadays, I think that every company already has a replicated website. So you have your username and uh, this, then uh, after that, the name, of the, the name of the company. And all those websites are just the same. It's just you or your name or maybe a picture there uh, that says that it, this is your, your page, that this is when they buy there, they will, uh, th they will go through you and you are the one who will earn money or uh, they will join your team. And of course, oftentimes uh, those reps are using the same images. And not only that this is hurting your business in a way that you don't stand out and that you are just an, one of many. And um, I don't know about you, but a lot of people, when they see the same offers, the same deals, they just blank them out and you know they just don't notice them anymore. And um, it is often against Facebook policy that if a lot of people uh, are using the same images or the same, the same links or the same, mm, especially the, the links from network marketing businesses, Facebook is very 
reluctant to to promote that or uh, not promote in a way that they are uh, doing ads for it, but to uh, spreading the word and posting on a lot of newsfeed. But also it can it can get you in the Facebook jail because you will be you will be doing the same thing as hundreds of others and it, it is a way to uh, to get yourself being blocked out of your of your uh, profile or even your your profile can get suspended or deleted at the end. So really you should be careful not from the sta- not only from the standpoint of view that people are not noticing anymore because everyone is just doing the same thing but you are doing something and you know at the end you might not even get credit or you you can get punished for it and with today uh, I don't know how much you've you've heard or noticed or you are following the news but in the last I don't know two three weeks there are at least four companies that closed their doors or they had to change something or they had to stop trading or stop selling or they are uh, they are changing the the process and how the uh, their products are being sold so they are not network marketing anymore they are just a regular shop so uh, it when you are when you are uh, branding yourself or if you're representing yourself as a uh, representative of that company and you you have friends and you're posting deals and you're posting offers and you're posting everything and then all of a sudden the, the company shuts down then what do you do you cannot change from from uh, one day to another to another I mean you can change from to another company but what will your friends think she's the one jumping from one company to another uh, you know, they, they will be confused who you are, what you really do. And it's not just that companies uh, shut down the doors. It's also that you can, you can find that, you know, the values of the company are not aligned with you anymore. Or maybe you're moving on and you, mm, maybe you have, maybe you had kids and you were using a lot of kids products and babies products. And then as your kids grew uh, grew older, then you don't need them anymore, and you realize that that's not what you're interested in uh, anymore. So you you change to something that's more with what your family is about in in the days when kids are maybe teenagers. Maybe you find something that will include them as well. So all of those circumstances uh, you have to you have to take into account when you are when you are creating your uh, your branding and when you are creating your presence online. And here we will be talking mostly about online presence uh, on social media websites and such, but it also goes, of course, uh, to the offline world as well. So when you compare, when, when you are one of the thousands of the, the reps in, in the same company uh, selling the same products and offers, the only thing that really is different is you. You are, you are the only thing that can make the difference, that can show that you are someone else than the next rep, that you are doing your business differently than the next rep. And uh, when, I, when I see people, you know, having... Facebook accounts or Instagram accounts or, you know, their usernames is, uh, part of the username is a company. That's the worst thing that you can do because as I said before, when you are, you are positioning yourself, you are branding yourself as one of, of the many. You are just one, one of them all. So when you uh, brand yourself as you, yourself, you're bringing into, into the equation all that you are. You're not just the rep of that company. This is just one little tiny part of you because you have family, you have pets, you have friends, you have hobbies, you have 
all all you know the the experiences the circumstances you had your your own problems you had your own solutions it is you that makes you different than anyone else and that is what, why you should be branding yourself and actually selling yourself and um when you are a rep for a company i mean it is it is a great opportunity i am i am with few companies and yes it is much easier because they they do products for you they have websites they have presentations they have trainings uh they they do delivery for you uh so yeah it is a great opportunity but at the end of the day it is your business it is you are the one paying your bills you are the one uh responsible for the income of you the company and for the expenses of you the company and what you do as a company and you should see yourself as a company so often times we see with, with uh, the branding you incorporated so you as a company because uh, being a rep for for the for a uh, some other company is just a part of your business it's like uh, mcdonald's is the perfect exam- example so uh, the person running a local mcdonald's one of the shops one of the restaurants is responsible for the, for all the costs for the income uh, for the quality for everything that they do on that location and it is the same with you you are your own entity you are your own business and that's why it is so important that you present yourself as you as your own business as a separate entity not uh just uh what would be the word not just a part of the of the bigger bigger uh company because you get lost in all those other other uh the the sea of other reps so uh how do you brand yourself of course as i said the first thing is to be you embrace who you are you might not be perfect but still be you embrace your energy embrace your type of uh conversations embrace your um communication styles embrace your energy embrace your uh past embrace everything that you are because everything that you are is value it is value to someone and you have to find you have to find that person or that group of people that you serve and often times uh people that you will be most likely the most helpful are the people that are in the same position that you were before you started this journey as a as a entrepreneur or on your health journey or your wealth journey or whatever you started you always can have a story of your before and after and it can be it, you don't need to have results as you know being a top earner or top recruiter or uh having a large team or whatever but you started you started before those that started today so you already know some things you already tried some things you already experienced something you've been maybe to two or three events that you know person coming after you they will be lost what to do there how to behave what to wear uh how to go around or you know things like that so it's easier it's the easiest to imagine who you were before you started your journey maybe you were overweight maybe you have health problems maybe you had uh confidence issues maybe you had uh self esteem issues maybe you had uh maybe you had troubles in your in your marriage or maybe with the kids because you didn't have time for them or maybe you uh didn't take time for yourself you know all those things that that uh you were at the beginning of your journey those are the people that will understand and they will see that you understand them and that you've been there 
and that you know what you're talking about and also that you have a story and that you have a solution for them. They will see you that you are in a different place than uh, you were before, that you are doing something about it and that you are kind of ahead of them and they will start looking after you and uh, looking what you're doing and how you're doing and they will start listening to you and follow you and see uh, how they can they can get some of that into their own lives so as i said uh, you can use your your own strengths you you have to be aware of uh, what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are and of course emphasize your strengths and your values and uh, also your passions and as i said your story and uh, all experiences and everything that you are. So combining all of that together, you can be uh, you can be a coach to moms with with younger kids. You can be a coach to teenage moms. You can be a coach to single moms or single dads. You can be a parenting coach. You can be a health coach. You can be fitness coach, wellness coach. Those are all you know, a really broad terms, but you can define who you, who you really serve and who is your target market. And uh, as I have in my group, it is for the introverts because I'm introverted and I know what kind of issues I had and I still have some of them, of course, and what I've done to overcome them. And so this is my target market because that's who I can relate to and who can I uh, serve the best and help them get visible and get their their story out. Hey Sophia. So before we we move on, uh, just a little basics of branding and oftentimes you will hear it uh, describes as three C's. The first one is is clarity. Again, you have to know who you serve and who you are to be really, you you can't say that you serve everyone. And I know that a lot of products are for everyone. Anyone can take the vitamins, anyone can take that uh, that shake or uh, try try, uh, cream or oil or whatever. But uh, defining who you serve and how you serve them is the the first step because you will be you will be more focused on on those people you will be talking their language as i said before you can be maybe uh moms that just recently had babies and they want to get their uh pre-baby weight back so you are you're helping those and you will be talking directly to them. You will not be talking about uh, troubles of losing weight in the 50s or uh, having that uh, overweight for 10, 20 years, you know, trying all kinds of different diets. You will be talking directly to that moms and you will be uh, explaining their situations. You will be explaining uh, their uh, specific problems. and you will be hurt and don't worry a lot of time people say yeah but i don't want to limit myself because my product really helps everyone you are not limiting yourself because a lot of times people will uh, recommend it they will see that they it helps them it will just help you with your marketing message and if someone comes and say Look, I saw you uh, recommending this cream or this shake to to moms. Do you think it it can help me? And you will say, of course, and you will explain what it can it can uh, do for them. But having a more specific target market is helping you with your with your message and of course with your images and with your colors and with everything that you do uh, regarding to your brand. Uh, the then the, the second C is consistency not just consistency in a way of posting every day or every second day or whatever but consistency of having 
the same similar colors, uh, even username across all platforms. So if you're having, um, I don't know, I'm a mm, new mom's uh, getting back into the shape coach. I'm just making this, <laughs> this up, but I, I hope that you will understand that you will apply to your own, your own situations. Then you are doing that on Facebook, you're doing it then on Instagram, Twitter, on your website and everywhere you will have uh, pictures of moms with babies or maybe exercising with babies or eating healthy with babies or, you know, so that you are consistent where, wherever you go or whenever someone finds you, uh, they will get the same message. They will get the same who you are. It, it goes as well with the, with the, um, with the colors, so there, there, it's not uh, one, one social media you have everything green and on the other you have everything blue and with completely different fonts and you have to, uh, you know, kind of a Nike way or McDonald's or those big brands that you, that you can see their logo even without colors or in different colors or in different, um, I've seen Coca-Cola in, in different languages with the, with different alphabets, but you can still know and see that it's Coca-Cola. So it's the same with you using the logo everywhere that whatever you do and all the, all the images that you do, uh, using the, the website or whatever you're using to, to drive people to, uh, you're using everywhere as your, uh, as your watermark, uh, things like that, that you are, uh, whenever, wherever someone finds you on, on social media or on website or online, that they will know that it belongs to you, that it's not someone else. And then of course the, uh, the, uh, the third C as constancy as, uh, being regular in your posting, having uh, regular emails, having regular posts online, not just, you know, posting one day and then one month nothing and then again one day. Uh, because that's how you create. You have to be in front of people. You have to show up. You have to be visible. You can have the best product in the world, but if no one knows about it, then you're not doing a good job. And... Uh, I would like to here uh, address something that is uh, kind of my pet peeve. Uh, when people are saying online, I'm paid for, I'm paid for drinking coffee, I'm paid for wearing makeup, I'm paid for posting pictures on, on Instagram, I'm paid for uh, traveling or whatever. You are not paid to do that. You can, you can do that, of course, and you can afford to do it, that and you can use the money that you make to do that. But you are paid to market. And marketing means being in front of people, uh, showing yourself, showing the product, showing the opportunity, and sharing it. And of course, it comes with the selling, but you can, you can, you can uh, see the selling as a sharing because you can control what you sell and what others what other people will think of you and of your products but you can always share you can you can uh, be present and give value and share your opportunity and your products and this is what you are paid to do for the marketing not for posting pictures on on instagram it is part of your marketing yes but you don't have you don't get paid for every picture that you that you post on facebook or for every coffee that you drink, or for whatever. So this is this is your 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 job to promote and to to market to put your products and your opportunities in front of in front of your friends and friends on online means of course the friends on Facebook, uh, the fans and followers on Instagram, and uh, on other accounts that you have. So uh, being, being consistent will bring you uh, into the awareness of people. 
it it will bring you you know so they will get to know you they will realize what you're doing and of course you have to stand out to uh so people are not thinking yeah she's one of those you know uh that i can i can get uh, the products anywhere i can get it from um you know I, I can just google it and find someone and i can get those products uh, from from strangers but you have to build your brand so people will see that buying from you will give them the extra value and the extra um, that you you will do for them more than just uh, buying the product so how do you it's actually all about building your expert status or bu building your authority or building uh, the no like and trust factor. So how do you do that? As I said, first of all, you have to know who do you serve. You have to be consistent across all the all your social media. Um, you have to have. Uh, it's best that you have the username the same as you know on every social media and maybe similar uh, with your logo or similar uh, pictures. This, this is the best way, but oftentimes it's not, maybe it's not possible or maybe you've started doing something and you are in the middle of the change, so you're not there yet, but it doesn't really matter as much as uh, that you give value to the people. So your, your biggest wealth and your biggest asset is that you teach and give value. And value doesn't mean that you, sh uh, when you're sharing your products, uh, listing or, or explaining their features, this is not value. For most of the people, it doesn't mean a thing. If you are saying, yeah, my product has 15% of this or 50% of that, and it is the best in the market, or, you know, people are, tired of that hype and people are tired of the the promises that a lot of uh, i'm not saying that your <laughs> your product is not delivering but oftentimes uh, we are so um, excited and so passionate about the products that we represent uh, the company that we represent that we are uh, kind of talking a little bit um, enthusiastic but we are exaggerating so, uh, you know, when you have, a, I don't know, a cream or, I don't know, lashes, whatever, and all of the sudden it can cure everything and it can do miracles and it can, you know, it can be, and you know that you cannot claim a lot of health, uh, health statements are prohibited uh, and you cannot claim that, you know, something cures this and cures that and cure that it can help it can it can bring relief or whatever but it doesn't cure uh, cancer it doesn't cure whatever you're selling so really be careful about those features and the features are those things that are uh, kind of facts you know like I would be saying to a car it has uh, a wheel uh, four wheels it has um lights it has you know it, it really doesn't matter it is important that you give value and that you add benefits and benefits are all those things that your product can do or your opportunity can do for someone so it can uh, the car can drive you somewhere it can you can go anywhere you want without relying on the public transportation you can go on holidays on your own terms uh, you can take your kids to, to school, to football games. Uh, build the stories around, build the emotions around uh, the experiences and the changes that your product can offer to someone. And that is, that is giving value. So if you have, uh, maybe if you're in a travel business, you can talk about the experiences, you can talk, it doesn't really matter that you are staying in a three-star, five-star hotel. Into, for some people, it will mean a lot, 
but it's more the experience of staying there and exploring. Uh, or if you are, if you're selling weight loss, it is the transformation, you know, how people will, will see them, how they will, they will think of themselves, how they will, um, they will easier find clothes, how they will be more confident. Those are the values, those are the benefits of your product, not the, the ingredients of, the, of that smoothie or whatever. And giving value also means uh, helping people see how your product can help them. Uh, giving value also means um, sharing testimonials, giving, your, giving the bigger picture. And that's when I said you are you're not just a business uh, woman or a man. You are much more than that. So you have a life and people are interested to see what kind of life do you have. And if you are sharing your lifestyle and you're going in the middle of the day, you know, to take coffee or for a walk or maybe just go somewhere and they, they say, wow, she's really living uh, not nine to five, but she's really living on her terms. Uh, she can take time off, you know, and she will, she, they will see the proof of what you are saying and what you are promoting. And they will start looking uh, after you and looking for, for what you have because they will see uh, the lifestyle that they want. So the value is not strictly limited to business. And a uh, uh, a lot of people I see on Facebook, especially when they are, they are uh, starting a groups, there are a tons of groups that are strictly promotional as sell groups. And I get that they, they are for different purposes. But, uh, you know, when you're just selling, 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 people get tired of that. And uh, those, those posts don't get so much emotions because they, not emotions, comments, because you don't, you don't include them in your in your process. You don't include them in your life. You don't include them in your uh, experience. So ask them questions. People love talking about themselves. Ask them questions. Ask them about them uh, themselves. Let them talk about their life. And when they are talking about their life, of course, they will also talk about their troubles and their problems and their pains. And you can give value by offering them. Uh, some tips or something that uh, that can help them without without even uh, needing to buy something from you. But when you give value, people re will remember that. People will start seeing you as someone, and they will subconsciously think how they can repay you repay you the favor. And they will they will you know, subconsciously think, yeah, she gave me this value, I have to give something back. And maybe they will not buy from you, but they will refer you to someone. They will talk about you to, some, to someone. And that is the, 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 the biggest asset that, that you can have, the building this relationship with, with people so they can see you as the, they can see you as the problem solver uh, they they will start seeing you as some kind of authority, an expert that is helping them solve their problems. And remember, people don't care about you, your business. They don't care about uh, what offers do you have or what promotions are you going to hit or that you only need two products before you earn some, uh, some uh, reward or whatever. They don't care about that. Some people will, will help you out, but, you know, this is really long term and really maybe one time or, uh, you know, something just to, to help you out. This is not a sustainable business and you cannot build your business on that and, you know, asking people uh, for, for favors. You have to give them value so they will, they will follow you and they will see you. Uh, they will listen to you because you you are valuable for their own problems. You are valuable for them. You are valuable. Uh, you are helping them uh, live better lives. And that's what people care about. They care about themselves. And if you can help them getting better, 
and having better lives, then you are you are the winner. And you eventually can can uh, invite them to to see the presentation because they will not say no to you because they will see you that uh, you are an expert, you are an authority, and they will kind of first of all repaying the favor for all your help that you you've given before. And uh, on the other hand, they will uh, they will be kind of not afraid, but they would not want to. Uh, because they've already uh, got so much value uh, from you, they will automatically think that what you have and what you offer them and what you ask from them uh, will also give value to their lives. And that's h- how it's then easier to to build the uh, the relationship with them and to not sell them as a you know the hardcore selling that we all hate, but just by sharing, they will want to be part of your team. They will want to be around you. They will want to be in your uh, in your company. Uh, you be. I I was talking about the trust and credibility uh, all along, but uh, this is the you know people like I said do business with uh, with people not with the company. So again, uh, another, another, you know, pet peeve of mine is, you know, groundbreaking opportunity. We are the company uh, of 20 years with, uh, with no debt and, you know, with a proven record or whatever. It doesn't matter. People will join you if, even if you're in a company that just started yesterday, but if they will know you and trust you and they will see that you are there and if they see you as an expert, they will follow you. But you have to build that. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes, uh, it takes some time. It takes some work. Uh, but you always have to remember that whatever you're doing, you're doing it for the long run. Uh, also, all those, all those, uh, you, we all know those spammy groups that you can get, you know, join for free, no selling, no this, no work, no that, you know, and earn thousands of dollars in a week. And if you are, if you are putting posts like that, you will get people that will uh, really looking for that results. And when they will not get them, they will just move to another one that will promise them, uh, same or something better, but uh, you're kind of looking for people that are just there for the for the short term, for the quick money, for the get rich quick uh, idea. So you have to think long term. You have to think, especially if you are if you are building your own brand, and it's like the the actors, you know, when they get well known, it is for the lifetime. And we all know, you know, how those actors are then on, on the, in the newspapers, on TV, for everything they do good or they do bad. And if, if you're building your brand, you ha- always have to remember it is for the lifetime. You know, you're not going, and especially with, with uh, the social media and everything now that's online, everyone can look uh, for you, everyone can find you, everything. You, whatever you put online, you can't delete anymore. Because it's on so many places that even if you try, you will never you will never recover. So it is important to think long term and to, to think that you are growing and building your own your own brand and uh, you know kind of uh, having your own personal reputation online. So always act according to that. And the best part of being your own brand. Uh, and not being uh, married to one company is that you can create multiple streams of income. This is my favorite (laughs) because when you are, uh, maybe you are in a weight loss industry and you are selling, I don't know, shakes or pills or whatever you're selling. This is one one stream of income. And then you can also have another stream of income when you complement that uh, eating with fitness 
and you can you can have another company that you joined uh which teaches the the fitness or promoting the fitness uh exercising or something like that you can you can create uh your own book where you share your own story and your own tips how to eat uh healthier and be uh, be in better shape and you can you can put it on Amazon and it is it is your your income stream you can be a coach where you combine and you have you know those products just as an by by product of someone working in you, with you but you are maybe coaching them and working one-on-one -on -one with them or having a group coaching or having a maybe a a group that exercise together and you're also sharing with them your your pills or your shakes or whatever so you can you can create a lot of income streams you can you can be affiliate for something that maybe um for a company that represents some kind of meditations for example because you know that meditation helps the well-being and it helps with the exercise and with the overall uh, feeling good about themselves and it can it can help people lose weight uh, faster easier or whatever so when you are if you are married to a company and I said married meaning uh, you are a rep of that company you you brand yourself as a rep of that company you're using just their products you are limited to them and I know that a lot of companies don't allow other that you join other businesses or other MLMs, but you can create different multiple streams of income that not, they're not against those policies that your company has. So you, you, can, you can start uh, building your own empire and having you know, money working for you instead of you just pursuing one product and one company and being uh, on their... Uh, you never know what happens to them or what maybe what decisions you have and you split and if you if you leave one company or the company goes down or whatever uh, then of course then uh, you can you also have the other income streams that you can use so it's not you know that you are again starting from zero but you're just replacing with different with different uh, income streams and again people do business people with people that they know like and trust so you you have to first uh, make people uh, getting to know you meaning you have to be visible facebook lives are a great way to uh, people to see you and to get to know you and then, of course, some will like you, some won't. And uh, some that will like will also trust you, some won't, or they will, take, uh, they will need longer time to, to really uh, start to trust you. But this is how you build your own brand. And before we finish, I just wanted to share with you... Oh, God, what happened here? Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. This is the behaviors that build trust, and this is from the from the uh, the book, The Speed of Trust, from Stephen Covey. This is the son of that famous Stephen Covey that that wrote the Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. And I think that it's important to remember uh, how you're building trust. Uh, one of let's go through them really shortly. Um, it's if you talk straight you don't talk about you know in riddles you don't talk I know that the other day I was uh, I was reading a comment uh, I mean several comments on a post when someone was offering to to show or share the presentation but they were very re reluctant to share what company it is and it was very secretive and you know and people were really annoyed because uh you know you have to tell people how it is you don't you don't need to lie to them you don't need to to uh cover the truth or because sooner or later they will they will realize uh 
the truth and you will be the one that that uh, lied to them and you will lose the trust immediately of course then of course demonstrate respect to anyone you know be respectful to to whoever you are talking to uh with with no with no uh, discrimination or having some uh, hidden agenda be, agenda behind or whatever you know be respectful to everyone and especially be respectful to yourself in a way that you're not sharing online things that are you know some of some of people are just complaining or they are they are uh, arguing or they are you know i've seen i've seen people uh, talking about their relationship or breaking up with the boyfriends and you know calling names over the facebook and you know the next post is buy from me you know sorry if you are if you are behaving like that to your boyfriend or your ex boyfriend or whatever you know i cannot trust you <laughs> that you will you will respect me and my niece and really be a person that i want to work with you um create transparency again show everything be be open uh don't hide things uh right wrongs be the one that um that really is for the you know to do people to do uh for others good and to try to make them this is this is the behaviors for the for larger organizations so some of them won't apply right here but uh, you can you can apply them into your business in a in a different manner, but show loyalty to your company. But again, uh, show also loyalty to your customers, and never never uh, never be no, never uh, talk dirty about your competition or about others, or you know saying. The other day I was. Uh, there was a blog, po uh, not blog post. There was a post, and uh, the girl said, "Oh, I just joined one company, and what? I I don't know what to do. How do I get? Uh, how do I get uh, further?" And one lady says, "Oh, you should join me. This is my company is better than yours. You know, it's it just gives a bad taste." Deliver results. People will see when you're having results, and results doesn't mean that you have to have a big check or, or that you have to, you know, uh, be the top person or whatever. You can have results. You know, you can. One of the results is simply I talked to two people today, and there are thousands and thousands of people who don't do that, and they they will see you as someone who is who is doing something and. Uh, getting better and learning and trying things and failing and you know it's all about showing who you are then uh you you have to confront reality you you can hide if you if you uh encounter problems uh try to solve them if you find you know that someone is um having fr uh, problems or is not satisfied with you, your services, your products, your company, whatever, you know, don't hide from them, but try to solve their problems. And oftentimes it's just the miscommunication or wrong expectations. But uh, I have a policy that, and I, I do a lot of things for free just to build that trust, but I have a policy if I sell something and some, uh, if, people are not satisfied or if it's not to their expectations i just give them money back straight without any questions because i want to have you know positive impact on others uh, which brings me to the expectations of course and we talked about that before you cannot say to people that they will uh they will have to uh yeah just just find four people and you will be you know uh, the top manager or top i don't know which rank because this was this was uh, actually the reason that i quit my network marketing company the first time around 
because that's what I was expecting. Yeah, I just tell four people and they will be as excited as I am and they will join me and, you know, I will make millions. But just be clear that, you know, if they join you or they they buy your product, it's not overnight, it's not... Uh, it requires work, it requires dedication, it requires patience, learning, and everything. Be accountable for them and for yourself. And being accountable for yourself is one of the, um, you know, we, we so easy fall off the track and uh, just justify why you're not doing, finding excuses. But if you're accountable, like, I'm going live every day at 8 p.m., then do it. If you're saying, I will send newsletter once a week, then do it. It's You, you don't have to, you know, uh, be everywhere every day uh, doing all kinds of things. And we are, we are often comparing ourselves to, you know, to those that have big teams and... Uh, that have outsourced, outsourced uh, services... And we are just, for at the beginning, we are just one person. And if you cannot do uh, a live video every day, then do them two times per week. Or if you cannot do a uh, newsletter every day, and uh, some people are sending newsletters every day, then do them every week. Then, or do them once a month. Or, you know, whatever it's, it's in your range. But be accountable and do, do them at, as you said that you will be. Uh, listen first. We, we talked about that. Listen what others are saying. And this is one of the, one of the main reasons that we are not maybe uh, selling as much or uh, getting as many new members because we are more concerned about what we will say and how we will get them instead of really listening where they are and if they are not ready to join us, then we should move on instead of pushing and pushing and pushing and maybe even even pushing them away from us. Keeping commit commitments and uh, extending trust, meaning that you, uh, you are a trustworthy person and you are trusting others that are uh, that they are as well. So, um, for the end, again, be yourself, be who you are, don't fake it because people will know it and you will start attracting the wrong, uh, the wrong audience, the audience that will fall for your uh, false personality and then you will have to fake it all the time or they will be disappointed and it will just create a lot of stress for you, just be you show yourself, show your personality, show your energy and um, you know how people that like that and people who are like that will, will come to you and you will have uh, opportunity to be more of that. Uh, so it is way easier, it comes naturally and it's, it doesn't require any, any struggles and uh, pressure and you know, being stressed out because you're trying to be something that you're not. And always remember, original is worth more than a copy. So again, if you are not, if you're not branding yourself, you are, you are just making copies, copies, copies. And uh, like if you're selling a product, then you can only... Uh, only um, sell the product for for the for the price that is all over the internet. But if you're selling the product with your services or with something on top of that, when you are putting yourself out there, you're not selling the product anymore. You're selling the solution, and you can uh, you can charge way more than just for the product. So remember, be yourself, be who you are. Show your show yourself on the video, of course, of course as well. Uh, but uh, remember, do do what you want uh, to be done to you. So uh, always be always think ahead. How is this? Is it uh, helping your reputation and your trust 
worthiness or it is hurt, hurting uh, you. So um, we are ending this and I will switch to Q&A. If you have any any sorry for my hair if you have any questions i've seen that uh, uh, Ta uh no tanya is trying to to uh to solve the problems and i hope if you haven't seen this or if you're just joining us it will it is recorded it will be uh, online on youtube on my web page so you can always come back and if you are in my group in the file section, you have the handouts for this presentation. So I hope it will give you some reminders to do, uh, to, to brand yourself. And now is the time for your questions. If you have any, I will stay around for a while. So if you, uh, if you, if you want to add something or uh, you can also do after afterwards. Uh, thank you, Mira. I'm glad that you like it and uh, that you got value out of it. And I will be talking a lot about this in the next few days when I will be uh, promoting something special. But it is still a secret. So if you don't have any questions anymore, I'm saying good night to you. I hope that you got value uh, out of it that it helped you understand why branding yourself is so important. And again, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message or send me an email. Okay, bye.